Few professional teams have ever enjoyed an extended run of excellence quite like that of the NBA's model of consistency, the San Antonio Spurs. And for the third time in five years, and the fourth time in their rich history, the San Antonio Spurs are NBA world champions. At the core of their success is a fiercely loyal friendship forged in the heat of battle between three franchise icons and their celebrated coach with a no-nonsense approach. Play everything out there, and that means with your teammates. They got talent, we gotta beat them with all of us. But even the most successful of organizations can have doubt cast upon them. And at that critical moment, all that's left to rely on is the courage of conviction and the capacity to honor a commitment to the team. San Antonio now 28 seconds away from a championship. They lead by five. Everybody knows how close we were a year ago. Right down to the wire and within 30 seconds of actually winning a championship. Being that close at a point where you almost touch it. After failing to secure a rebound, the Spurs five point lead with 28 seconds to go was reduced to two. James, another three, it's good! And when Kawhi Leonard split a pair of free throws on the ensuing possession, San Antonio was still one defensive stop away from capturing the fifth championship in franchise history. Let's go, we got time to get this thing done, let's go! You no know, timeouts left, so Miami needs a good three. They've got time to set it up. James catches, puts up the three, will go! Rebound, Bosch, back out to Allen, his three-pointer, bang! Tie game! In the extra session, the Heat would snuff out any hopes for a Spurs celebration on their home floor. Green blocked by Bosch. Game over. I guess the obvious word is disappointing. Uh... I was devastated. I wanted to cry. I never uh, felt like that in a, in a basketball game. We were a few seconds away from winning the championship, and we let it go. Two nights later, the Miami Heat would win a decisive game seven and the 2013 NBA title, while the San Antonio Spurs were forced to come to terms with one of the most devastating collapses in championship history. To plot a path forward on the road to redemption, coach Greg Popovich instinctively knew what needed to be done as the Spurs prepared for the upcoming season. We started our training camp by watching that game, every frame of it. Bob wanted us to see it again, to feel it, to realize what happened. You guys know we lost in the last 20 seconds, but that's not where we lost the game. And it was like a zero tolerance type of deal for Popovich. We have to pay attention to details. We can make no mistakes. You're in control of things. You don't blame it on the basketball gods or anything like that. What can we do better? And either we will or we won't. Will we show the fortitude to stick together and try to get another opportunity, or, or will we break apart? It would be back to the basics for the Spurs as Pop opened camp at the United States Air Force Academy, where the former cadet would reinforce what mattered most and strengthening the bonds of his unit. We want to thank you and the Academy for being here. You guys have been great. And uh, but you're going to find out that uh, they're hard workers just like you all are. We hope you enjoy yourselves this evening. It was about just getting better. I'm blessed with a great group of guys. They came together, uh, they enjoyed each other, they loved each other, they loved playing with each other, and it showed. Obviously, you can't erase last year and what happened or the thoughts of what happened last year, but to be back on the court with these guys and, and to see us starting another journey is, is, is great for us. A glorious journey had already been shared for more than a decade by San Antonio's Big Three, and Tim Duncan, Manu Ginobili, and Tony Parker appeared to be just as cohesive and just as productive when the new campaign got underway. Those guys are the ultimate competitors 
They've changed their game just like I've changed mine and adapted to what Pops asks us to do and to continue to find ways to win. Every year you write them off. They're too old. No, they never age for some reason. With the years, get that level of trust, confidence, respect, appreciation. Spurs have won 10 in a row. The goal is always the common one. What we want to do is win. San Antonio matches the best start in franchise history of 12th consecutive game. To be able to play all those years together uh, in professional sports, is, it doesn't exist. I appreciate every moment because I know one day I'm going to play without those two guys. They're the heart and soul and the core, but they've allowed us to add other players around them. They brought them into the family, uh, helped us teach them their roles, and it's worked out. The Spurs would also learn to rely on an up-and-coming star in the making, Kawhi Leonard. He's got a great work ethic. His development was really important. Little did we know that he was going to progress as quickly as he did. And he's only 22, an emerging star. His will to be a great player and to begin it with defense and boards makes him pretty special. Leonard, got it! We all know what he's capable of. And they've been pushing him to be more aggressive. And throughout the year, he's done that. And we trusted him to guard the best players in the world. Kawhi Leonard is the future of the San Antonio Spurs. He don't really speak a lot. Almost never. But you can see from his eyes that he really wants to win. He is competing on every single play. Look at that. Kawhi Leonard. Thompson chasing. Wraps him up. And one. Oh, mama. Just uh, play with this guy for me is uh, an honor because you're going to be the future of this team. While Kawhi Leonard capably shouldered more of the load, Tim Duncan carried on like the franchise cornerstone he'd been for the 16 previous seasons. Everything begins with Tim. But frankly, we almost take him for granted. And then when you see him play and you look at the film and you say, my gosh, he's still doing the same thing. Tim Duncan, one of the greats of all time. When you are 38, that's very hard to do. Because on the other side, you got kids that don't stop running or jumping and they hit you, but he did it day in, day out, always being a super pro and making us better and showing leadership in, in moments where we needed him the most. Timmy for the win, got it! Oh, I love that guy, and, and uh, he's changed his whole game. For a guy that has as many minutes and many miles on his leg, it's unbelievable. Turn back the clock! During the summer, I was working with him, and I was like, wow, this guy is running more than me, and I feel shame. He's better now than he was two years ago. The first game I watched, he was dominant, and every game I've been here, he's just been as dominant as the first time I saw him. It's crazy how he maintains that level of play, and it's an honor to be able to play alongside him. Tim Duncan may be the foundation that these Spurs were built on, but he was just one of the many moving pieces. Maximizing their depth, San Antonio would become the first team in NBA history to play an entire season with no player averaging as many as 30 minutes a game. Our bench was very important because they'll come in and play great. They just roll guys out there I and mean, they look like they're all NBA. They could be a starting five team in the NBA. They could be the line of teams. San Antonio, they're 10 deep. And they play a system and play with a discipline that is just remarkable. We are not a team that's going to have somebody scoring 40 every game that we can rely on. So we need contribution from everybody. There goes that bench again. Everybody had an opportunity. It gave guys great confidence to come in and play well. Danny Green! We had different guys emerge and play great roles throughout the whole season. It shows how deep our bench is. All 14 guys can play. That may be because San Antonio leaves no stone unturned, searching for unique talent in diverse regions. It's cool to come from uh, all different parts of the earth. Everybody's from another place. 
like a piece out of the water. Bellinelli fires. We all got different culture, and at the same time, we all got the same passion of basketball, and that's why it kind of brings us back together. If you love basketball, you have to appreciate the Spurs. All different styles and, and experiences of play come together. To put that onto the court, it makes it very exciting. Bellinelli out to Patty Mills 4-3. You oh, bet. Get out of here. It would all translate into success in the standings. When San Antonio closed the campaign, by rattling off a franchise record winning streak. San Antonio's won 13 in a row. Spurs 15th consecutive win. And the Spurs with 18 straight wins. Although they had compiled the association's best record, the Spurs had also provided ammunition for their doubters and detractors. Hey, fire in the hole! The Thunder defeat the Spurs. We struggled with the top teams in the league. The Houston Rockets storm into the Alamo City and defeat the Spurs again. And we lost to every team that was a championship contender. So the Portland Trailblazers pick up a game on the Spurs. We needed to figure out what we needed to do to fix that. A lot of people uh, uh, didn't believe in us. Uh, they thought we were too old, like always. They lost here. That memory come back when they walk in here. We just kept hearing that we couldn't beat any top teams in the NBA. Bad pass, and that's what it leads to as James throws it down. Everybody was concerned about when we get to the playoffs, we wouldn't be able to compete with elite talent. The 62 regular season wins would be reduced to a footnote in history if the team could not work together to achieve their much loftier goal. At the end of the regular season, we knew that it was now business time and what we'd done throughout the regular season which was great, but we hadn't achieved anything yet. After climbing to the top of the Western Conference, the San Antonio Spurs entered the playoffs as the number one seed. They would be tested immediately by a familiar foe with an impressive playoff pedigree of their own in Dirk Nowitzki and the Dallas Mavericks. We knew just because we were the one seed and Dallas was the eight seed didn't mean their series was a gimme. They have championship experience. They're a great team led by uh, one of the all-time great players in Dirk Nowitzki. And everybody starts zero and zero come playoff time. The sweep of the season series and a Spurs victory in the opener offered little comfort after Dallas delivered a wake-up call. Nowitzki, contact, and gets it. The Dallas Mavericks with a definitive statement in game two. If the Mavericks had not yet gotten the Spurs full attention, all that was about to change. Who will be the hero? Calderon throws it in. Carter in the corner. Got it. <laughs> Dallas has stunned the number one seed in the San Antonio Spurs. It's always tough. He made a great shot and they got the win, so it, of course it's disappointing. You know, we are not out. Uh, we lost a tough one. We got to just play a little better. Before the series started, Dirk, he was our main focus, but then everybody started to play well for them. Ooh. Quick. 29 for Monte Ellis. Dallas forced us to get on track, you know, really play Spurs basketball uh, and, and execute to the highest level on both ends of the floor. Kawhi Leonard. What a block they're playing with that kind of desperation, that urgency early. Now you're playing. Now you're playing. A little bit of ugly. Okay? A little bit of contact. A little bit of ferociousness. It's the playoffs. The mindset was it's money time. We just did a good job um, turning around that Dallas series with our defense. Harris on the run out. Top pass. Right through the bottom hole. Responding to the challenge, the Spurs pulled ahead three games to two, but could not close out the series in Dallas. And suddenly, the long journey back to the NBA Finals was in jeopardy, long before they had reached their desired destination.
Dallas was really important for us because they, they were tough. But we had to make adjustments in that first series to help us become better. Fortunately, we had home court advantage and played well in game seven. Aggressive and play together. Play for each other. That's what it's all about. It's just another basketball game. If you play with each other, one, two, three. Yeah. Nitschke against Splitter. Splitter knocks it away from behind. Two on one. Parker to Leonard for the flush. Spurs are picking and rolling to death, these men. As dominant a first half as you can have, San Antonio still shooting an incredible 72% from the field. It's a 27-point lead. Great job on Dirk. It's all about the defense. That was some of the best defense I've seen all year. Taking away the three, getting back down, not falling. Keep up with the D and the board. They turn it over. Spurs put in their best performance in Game 7. A dominant victory for San Antonio. It is now on to face Portland. And after the series against Dallas, everything was better for us. Our focus was better. Portland. We play uh, immediately a great basketball game. Parker, again, he cannot be stopped by the Blazers. He's got 20. This is a complete demolition. For people that still think the Spurs are boring, they haven't been watching. A thing of beauty on offense. Defense is rule of the day. The defense is rule of the day. It's fueling everything. It's a round one for the Blazers. Turned over to Leonard, who drops the anvil. The veteran crew had found their rhythm, and their relentless assault would prove to be overwhelming for the less experienced Portland Trailblazers. You gotta make them guard by attacking and find the open man or go yourself. Here's Ginobili with Splinter and the dunk. With surgical precision, the Spurs would oust the Trailblazers in five games. San Antonio goes to the Western Conference Finals for the third consecutive year. Next up, was another date with the electrifying offensive attack of Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, and the Oklahoma City Thunder, a team that had dominated the Spurs in the regular season series by winning all four games. As each series progressed, uh, we really got better uh, playing some teams that uh, had their way with us during the year. Well, OKC is a very tough matchup for us. We lost to them in the conference finals two years ago. So, you know, we felt this is our, t our chance to redeem ourselves. The Thunder entered shorthanded with three-time NBA all-defense first-teamer Serge Ibaka sidelined by a calf injury. The Spurs were quick to capitalize, exploiting every opportunity in the interior. The Spurs are absolutely dominating the paint. Kawhi Leonard on a tired Kevin Durant with the spin move. Great drive, great drive. That's what it's all about. What a move by yes. Tony Parker. These guys don't miss. Now I want a smarter quarter here. Better execution. Play like you know how to play. Green left free and takes advantage. Another three-pointer. And it is a commanding victory for the San Antonio Spurs as they go two games to nothing in his best of seven. The first two games we won pretty good. They didn't have surge. Game three comes back and an emotional game for him. They had their home crowd behind them. When the Thunder got back to OKC, they also got back to full strength and fed off the energy injected by Ibaka's return to draw even in the series. They route the Spurs tonight, 105-92 in game four to deadlock this thing into a piece. OKC was one of the toughest team for us to, to play. And so we knew it was going to be a battle. We knew we had to play our best basketball to beat them. Game five came in with a different you know, mindset. That's when we started moving the ball even better because we had to. They're so athletic. And the only way to, to get them to move or tire them out is to move the ball and, and get open shots. In a pivotal game five performance, San Antonio reasserted themselves as the superior squad by playing with passion while paying attention to detail. We gotta move these athletes around. We can't keep it on one side. We can't have any ball stoppers. 
Diaw gets it down low. Here's Duncan inside. The Spurs offensively are back. 117-89. All Spurs, they take a three games to two lead. It was very important to keep our foot on the gas pedal and not let them back in it. At the time, nobody won on the road. We knew we just had to come out with twice as much focus to hopefully get that win. Let's match your aggressiveness. Let's match that right off the bat. Let's hold it down. Make them feel you. One, two, three. The, the return trip to the finals was within San Antonio's grasp. But first, they'd have to shake off an apparent ankle injury that had sent Tony Parker to the bench. An explosive third quarter staked the Spurs to a double-digit lead. But the Thunder came roaring back. First lead of the fourth quarter for the Thunder. Looking to take it to a game seven back in San Antonio. Leonard played by Westbrook. Ginobili for three, yes! As the battle raged into overtime, it was Tim Duncan in the twilight of his career who once more would deliver the decisive blow. The San Antonio Spurs on their way to the NBA Finals for the second straight season. What does it mean to you to get back to the finals and get another shot at Miami? You know, it's, it's unbelievable to, to, to regain that focus after the devastating loss that we had last year, but we're back here. And we're excited about it, and uh, we got four more to win. We'll do it this time. One, two, three, four! After claiming their second consecutive Western Conference crown, the San Antonio Spurs got exactly what they wanted. We were ready last year. We just couldn't get over that hump. We're, we're happy to be back here this year. We're happy to be have another opportunity at it. And we're happy to the heat again. Hopefully we'll be ready to take it this time. They don't like us. I can sense it from Timmy's comments. They wanted us, and uh, you know, we'd be ready for a challenge. The two-time defending NBA champions who were chasing their own place in history had steamrolled through the first two rounds of the playoffs. Miami is saying, you are not beating us. After dispatching the Charlotte Bobcats and the Brooklyn Nets, the Heat would meet up with their closest rivals in the East for a second consecutive time at the conference finals. They won in home court all year. Be careful what you wish for, man. Indiana had set the pace for much of the year, but they proved to be no match for Miami. Allen, again for three. And the Heat just pouring it on. As the Heat became the first team in more than two decades to make their way to the NBA Finals, four years in a row. This is how we do it. We know we still got work to do, but we're going to four straight finals. Enjoy we're it! take tonight for granted. We're going to enjoy this. I didn't look at it like a revenge, you know? I look at it more like a rematch, because I have a lot of respect for Miami. But we were very happy to play them, because we wanted to get another shot at it. It's a finals rematch here in 2014 with the Miami Heat, looking to become the first to three-peat since the Kobe Shaq Lakers. Game one of another great series. Felt like we were going to see the Spurs first. Spurs felt, felt like they were going to see us, so that's what we're ready for. The passion and determination that was on everyone's face, really wanting it so bad to correct what, 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 we, you know, what we messed up last year. When we put ourselves in a position to people where we want to get, and we're here now, so make it count. Every game is a game seven and treat it that way. Let's make a statement. Let's go now. One, two, three, get out of the Much has been said and written about the San Antonio Spurs wanting to get revenge against the Miami Heat for a bitter loss in last year's NBA Finals. All they know is they are four wins away from an NBA title, and the two-time defending champs are standing in the way. to talk about. And the 2014 NBA Finals are underway. Back up! 
Hands! Hands! By his own admission, Manu Ginobili had been haunted by his subpar performance at the 2013 finals. He wasted little time in exercising those demons to set a different tone for this series. Manu Ginobili with a triple has given San Antonio a lead. We're playing the NBA champion and we want what they have. That means we can't turn it over. It means we can't let up for a second, physicality-wise. To Parker up the floor, spots Ginobili training on the left side, and he plants another three-pointer. Manu with back-to-back -back threes. He was a driven man, and the competitor that he is, uh, this is like uh, the, the pinnacle for him, especially to help erase, you know, last year. But the two-time defending champions would storm right back. A 6-0 run from Miami. Nice answer, and they go up by one. They're going to pick it up now. Let's be ready for it. Here's Wade, who already has three championship rings at home, trying to garner another. Nothing can be lazy. Every cut, every screen, every curl, everything's got to be strong. Spearheading the Spurs' attack in the first half was their future first ballot Hall of Fame. Diaw on the drive, inside to Duncan. And that will end the first half of game one. LeBron James with 13 points to lead the Miami Heat. Tim Duncan, six of seven, 15 points to lead San Antonio. When the second half got underway, the contest would heat up, literally. Electrical failure for the power that runs the AC unit is malfunctioning. A hot AT&T center, to say the least, hot and steamy. And as the temperature inside continued to climb, the Miami heat began to surge. Here comes Allen. Allen pushes off. Bellinelli and throws it down. And the Spurs very sloppy. That's their 17th turnover. I agree that the heat has had an impact, but it's the heat defense that has created turnovers by the Spurs. James for three. That's good. LeBron James, second three-pointer. He's got 23. Okay. Let's make these last 10 minutes the execution we've had the whole playoffs. Let's make these last 10 minutes really sharp passes to the open man. Not forcing it, not being in a hurry. All right? Let's get after it. Ginobili picked up by Anderson. Green will try again. Hex a three. Danny Green's first field goal of the game. He was 0 for 4 from downtown. And the Spurs back with it one. Diaw looking. Green again. Bang! Spurs up by two. Oh, what a marvelous fourth quarter comeback for San Antonio. But with the outcome still to be determined, it would be the Heat who wilted in the extreme conditions. James crossover move, drives to the rim and finishes. And hobble up, he's cramping up again, Mike. And he can barely, can't even make it down the floor. He is looking over at the training staff and saying he can't move, reading his lips. He said he can't move, and so they're, they're literally gonna carry LeBron James over to the Miami bench. A severely dehydrated LeBron James was reduced to a witness as San Antonio completed their charge. 30 to nine run San Antonio since trailing 86-79. Screen, again, Danny Green from downtown. The San Antonio Spurs take game one of the 2014 NBA Finals. come in here on Sunday and hopefully play better and come out with another one. Welcome to game two of the NBA Finals. The urgency for Miami and the game's most scrutinized star is dialed up. Just win. It's all that matters. Whatever it takes to win. For the Spurs, they split the first two games of the finals last year. And now they'll do everything in their power to win two in a row and hold on to home court advantage. I don't think they've ever been down 2-0 in any series. This is the reason why they're defending champs. This is a big game. Let's go, boys. From Wake Forest, number 21, Chris All right, 
let's get this game underway. Great pass from Splitter. And Duncan throws it down. Turn back the clock. Oh, Duncan on the follow. He's four for five already. Pace is great. No holding. The ball does not stick. Parker takes it, swerving down the right side between two defenders. Goes up and under with a scoop. A little French kiss for Tony Parker off the glass. Spurs have been able to pretty well do what they want offensively here in the first quarter. Come on, come on, hard, 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 let's go! Good ball movement to James, got in deep, goes to the gut, and sends it in with a snap right hand jam. <laughs> All the muscles look good. Move it, move it! Come on, be aggressive! Wade picks it up to Bosch. He sways back and hammers down a two-hand jam. We are tied at the half. Spurs 43, Heat 43. Is this great or what? This is how it's supposed to be. But now what's important is who's going to handle their emotion. Desperate to avoid falling into a two-game hole, the Miami Heat made the most of an opportunity to swing the series in their favor. Cole left side turns the corner. Hands it off to LeBron. LeBron left open for three, and James finds the basket. Always the saving grace. Give it to the best ball player on the planet. James starting to go from the perimeter. Another three. That's good. LeBron James. So many people questioning his toughness, his greatness. He has responded. Time out. It's a critical part of the game right now. Don't lighten up. Now to the left wing, Bellinelli. Download a splitter, got it by Anderson. Finds Ginobili cutting inside. The South American connection. Splitter to Ginobili. And that will end a wild third quarter. We've had 16 lead changes. Each possession, so huge, critical plays in such a pivotal game here as these two teams battle for a championship. Fourth quarter, game two, NBA Finals. Great stuff. Offensively, let's make this our best quarter as far as pace. Three minutes remaining, game two, hanging in the balance. Ginobili on the drive, back out to Parker. Parker for three, it's good! Timeout Miami, Spurs up by one. The Spurs had valiantly gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the champs, but were unable to slip the final blow. James kicks it out, corner to box, and open three. Got it from downtown! Chris Bosch gives Miami a two-point lead. Finish it strong. Bosch, shot clock down to eight. Bosch going to go to the rim. Inside Wade, layup and good! What a comeback by the Heat! And that's the ball game! The Miami Heat, even the series. We were up one with uh, one minute and a half to go, and we just couldn't make the shot to, to go to uh, come up on top. You know, um, we had a great opportunity. This is always a tough place to play. You know, it's all about how you respond. So we do what we're supposed to do. Now we got to go and protect home court. Welcome to Miami, game three of the NBA Finals. Let's go Heat! Let's go Heat! Yeah, there's no panic after the loss. You know, um, you know, we lose game two, but you know, you, we know we're playing a great team. And we have a great team, too. The Heat have yet to lose at home in the postseason. Eight in a row. When teams come here to play, we've always said we're going to protect this home court no matter what happens. The Heat, they have been dominant at home throughout the postseason. But remember this, the best road team in the NBA all season long was the San Antonio Spurs. To seize the momentum and the squandered home court advantage, the entire team would have to perform better. Perhaps no spur had more pressure on him than Kawhi Leonard, who had struggled at the offensive end in games one and two while having his hands full trying to defend the league's four-time most valuable player. As we do this 15 guys together, all right, just keep that in your mind. How important is it to us tonight? Number six. Let's go! Backed by a raucous home crowd, the Miami Heat came out and battled with a ferocious intensity. James throws it down and a foul. He's got their last 12 points, 14, here in the first period. The defensive effort can't stop. The boards can't stop. Moving the ball can't stop. Led by a resurgent Kawhi Leonard, the Spurs would put on one of the most spectacular displays of offensive efficiency in NBA Finals history. 
That's a three. Kawhi Leonard. Parker against Chalmers, popping out Leonard against Wade. Makes right drive, left into the paint all the way in. He scooped it up. It hung on the rim and it fell for Kawhi Leonard. And one. Come on, man. And that's one thing Pop wants. He wants Kawhi Leonard to be aggressive on the offensive end. Although Leonard had struggled to score in games one and two, he never lost his confidence in his ability to contribute. I was really never down on myself. I uh, stayed even killed. You know, my team had confidence in me still. Uh, you know, the coaching staff and the players telling me that, like, this is, this is your time to, you know, go and get it. Mills, he'll penetrate. Bounce pass, left corner, Leonard. Great ball movement by the Spurs. Kawhi Leonard loads up and knocks down a three. 38-23, Spurs by 15. Yep. Great execution. Great execution. The Spurs were firing on all cylinders because they were playing their brand of basketball. This is a Spurs team that is running their offense to perfection. You know, we looked at the film of those first two games and we realized that we were going to have to play a really uh, high level of basketball, uh, which is going to entail passing and moving uh, if we were going to be able to do anything with their defense, which is really good. It's like the movie The Hoosiers. It's got to hit five sets of hands and then let's get going looking for our shot. We really love to move the ball uh, and I think uh, that's our secret. San Antonio connected on 19 of their first 21 attempts, eventually establishing a finals record for accuracy by sinking nearly 76% of their first half shots. Leonard finishes strong with the right hand. It has just been one of the great offensive starts in NBA playoff history. Although it looked like the game might be over at halftime, the Heat did not intend to concede a thing. Now LeBron, top of the circle against Leonard. Inside Wade, layup miss, got his own rebound, put back good, Dwayne Wade. 13-point game, 75-62. Parker right to the basket, rushed it. Got it! Got it! Now to Chalmers, down the floor. LeBron, free one and a right-hand layup. Finally, Miami converting something. The Spurs are sucking wind right now, let me tell you, with this pace. Drive him! Drive him! Seven on the shot clock, Cole trying to turn the corner. Cole the drive, tiptoes, reverse, he packs it in! Seven point game! They made a hell of a run. Let's get back to the defense we played and move into basketball, hit the open man. Led by the unselfish play from their highly decorated floor general, the Spurs would play flawless team basketball to put the contest out of reach. Along the wing to Green. Green, nowhere to go. Off to the corner, Leonard will drive baseline all the way in. Slam dunk, Kawhi Leonard. Sometimes everything goes just right. And tonight, that's the way it is for the Spurs. Green on the drive, James guarding him left-handed and one. What a beautiful shot from Green. Crowd is quiet here in Miami. LeBron with it, goes to work. He flattens Mills, throws to Chalmers, try to feed it back to LeBron, jabbed away by an alert. Oh. Mills diving for it, pokes it ahead. Ginobili in the open court, nobody near him. Cruises to the glass with a two-hand jam. Great leadership. You didn't get 30. He was great leadership and solid, solid play with the ball from your teammates. Great job. I have to trust my teammate in this series. Exactly. The Spurs with a huge response. Here in game three, and now lead the 2014 NBA Finals two games to one with a resounding road win here in Miami. He was beating me up right there. <laughs> but, uh, he wasn't really saying that, he just kept hitting me. <laughs> just wanted me to play the game, um, go out there, be aggressive, uh, don't think so much, and just, just go out there and leave it all on the floor. I don't think we'll ever shoot 76% in a half ever again. It's the NBA Finals. Uh, you can't just be mediocre out there if you want to win a game. Everybody's got to play well. We will get better from tonight. You know, we hate the performance that we put on. We'll come in and learn from our mistakes as we always do after a loss. You have to deal with all the emotions that happen in the Finals. Frustration, anger, pain, elation, all of it.
and it can swing back and forth. It's a long series. We have to be able to manage this, and it starts with tomorrow owning it. Did I get him? Did I get him? Yeah. Big shot. Stay ready. Stay ready. Everybody with the ball. Everybody's a point guard. Everybody's a point guard. Go sit down. Get off your legs. You're good. Save it for tomorrow. Save it for tomorrow. First the Spurs, any little minor mistake that you make, they will make you pay. Once they got to the groove, there was no slowing them down. We have a game plan in place, and it's about the five guys on the floor, whoever it may be, just making sure that we make as little mistakes as possible. It's game four of the NBA Finals, and the pressure's on the Miami Heat. The two-time defending champs desperately need a win to avoid heading back to San Antonio in a 3-1 hole. We go get it back tonight. We go get it back from the start. The way we know how. The way champions do, man. We respond. Let's see what we're about. Well, they've been down this road before, having won 13 consecutive games after a postseason loss. Green finds split a beautiful feed to Diaw on the finish. Move it, move it, move it. San Antonio has a double-figure lead here in game four. They've had a double-figure lead in each game of the series. Oh, what a beautiful look from Boris Diaw. Timeout. A timeout call by Eric Spolster. Guys are doing a great job of moving the ball as usual. Now we got a lead again. It doesn't mean be conservative. It means we just don't need home runs. Make them guard. Spurs off to a good, aggressive start. That's big strength right there. Take the contact and finish. Dominant first half for the San Antonio Spurs. See how solid we are. See how mentally tough we are right now. One, two, three. Defense! Defense. Come on, sir. Inside Chalmers, Birdman to the rim. Anderson blocked from behind by Leonard. It's loose balls and boards right now. It's loose balls and boards. The Spurs had picked up in game four right where they had left off in game three. As the domination continued, a hush fell over the hometown fans. And this crowd a bit stunned right now. Get rid of it! Get rid of it! Mills, not that time. Leonard on the follow! Slam Kawhi Leonard! Wow, he came out of nowhere and hammered it home! Second straight game at home. Miami is trailed by over 20 in the first half of a finals game. Need Miami to show more passion right here. A lot more passion. It starts with your best players. And they've got to play with more passion on both sides of the basketball, setting the tone for everybody else. LeBron backs, drop step, spin to the baseline, to the glass, played it in. LeBron James again getting into the paint. You got to take it to another level. Oh, man. For the rest of this quarter, oh, we got to commit to this end right here. It's already got 10 points in the period. It's a 13 point game. James several feet behind the arc, swishes a three. James now with 25 points. Get him moving, get him moving, get him moving! The Heat were looking to their superstar, while the Spurs were simply looking for each other. Pass inside, Dion to Duncan for the finish. Once again, spectacular ball movement. Everybody's gonna move the ball. Everybody's gonna be a tough catch. Crisp pass, jump stop. First five minutes of the fourth, we want to win. Patty Mills, puts it in. Patty Mills, huge off the bench with 14 points. The message had been the same throughout the whole year, nothing changed. I think we all just really understood as a team together um, what our strengths were and that we needed to, to go to that and keep at it. Once again, so many possessions with multiple passes. And everybody on their roster has scored. D out of Duncan, lays it up and in, and the Spurs can put this one in the back pocket. Look at that bench reaction. That is T-E-A-M-T. -E San Antonio Spurs with another masterpiece, and they take a 3-1 lead in the 2014 NBA Finals. You know, you made some shots, you played good D. You couldn't be more proud of you. 
you guys make five to seven passes, you get any pass you want. You guys practice that? Yeah, definitely. We practice that. We have a drill. <laughs> we take two dribbles, pass, two dribble, pass, and we do it like 10, 15 times. They move the ball extremely well, and they put you in positions um, that no one other team in this league does. Great job, Tim. Thank you, sir. Great position for us, going back home uh, with a closeout game. They're the champs. We have a lot of respect for what they're able to do. And uh, we don't want to give them any life. So uh, we're going to use these two days to really get rested up, come out on Sunday, and, and lay it on the line. The San Antonio Spurs are now just one step away from the prize that has been their goal all season long, the NBA championship. Tonight, it's game five of the NBA Finals. Go Spurs, go! Get it done! Get it done tonight! Last year, we're 30 seconds away. We have it in the bag, and, and it slips out of our fingers. It's not over till it's over. Our goal right now is just to win one more game. It shows a lot of character to lose like that and to come back the following year. I'm very motivated. Coach Pop was really driven and really passionate about winning this one. It was like the most important thing all year long, and it just, everybody felt it. With the finish line to their year-long quest in sight, the Spurs were hoping to get off to a fast start. But LeBron James had other ideas. James on the follow. And an 8-0 run to begin the game. It's the largest lead of the finals for the Miami Heat. LeBron James tracks him on radar and flies in to rebuke the shot, spiking it out of bounds. When he says, follow me, it's not just putting up huge numbers. It's showing huge effort. Two on the shot clock. James, a real long three. Got it! Oh, my! That one from some 30 feet away. On the big stage, you got to deliver. He's delivered, and they're going to ask for an encore here. Just remember, we have to do this together. The great part is we got all night long to take care of a bad start. But we do it by doing what we normally do. The beauty of the Spurs offense, never letting the ball stick. Left wing, Boris Diaw lobs to the rim. Winner to slam dunk on the alley-oop. Great way to start the second quarter. How good is this Spurs team and the way that they battle, compete, and never get rattled? Duncan, low left, turns into the lane. Sweeping right-hander up and in. Tim Duncan going to work on Haslam. Well, the Spurs weathered that early storm. We're starting to look like we're moving the ball a little bit more on offense. It's all that has to be done at that end. James drives, can't finish, Leonard the rebound. Leonard for three. Nine! First lead of the game for the Spurs. You're hearing MVP chants from the crowd. Manu into the front court. He'll drive it inside. Manu all the way in, left hand, slam! Wow, Manu! That is why you do the voodoo that you do so well. And the Spurs on a 14-0 run. After trailing by 16, the Spurs lead by seven at intermission. We got to bring more energy to our offense. We got to help each other get a shot right now. Help each other. It would be the collective group effort of the Spurs that would stop the heat at every turn. Wade blocked by Splitter. And remember last year when James blocked Splitter, here Splitter gets his revenge. You know, now he finds Diaw cutting inside. Forrest to the right wing, Mills for three. Good day, Mike. Patty Mills with a three-pointer. Back-to-back threes for the five-year veteran from Canberra, Australia. This man can shoot. He has electrified the crowd. Spurs running away, a 17-point lead. We're playing the back-to-back -back NBA champion, right? Keep pounding now. Keep pounding now. Don't let him back in. The Spurs' year-long journey seeking redemption had proven to be the ultimate test of their resolve. With a final push down the stretch, it would become clear they had passed the test with flying colors. Parker gets in the paint. Tony Parker. Oh, beautiful hesitation and floats it in. Well, Parker was cold early, but right now he's hot and he wants to finish off Miami. San Antonio did it as a team with some of the most beautiful team basketball we've seen in a long, long time. Spurs by 18. Everybody on their feet at the AT&T Center. 
Short jumper good. Seven for seven in the fourth quarter for Tony Parker. It's 96-76. It's time to celebrate San Antonio. The San Antonio Spurs are the world champions. The Spurs have captured their fifth NBA championship. Thanks for pushing me. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's what it's a crazy feeling. That's what it's about, baby, right? Yes. You earned it. You earned it. This is the San Antonio Spurs. You showed the world how beautiful this game is. And now, let me present the Larry O'Brien Trophy to this year's NBA champions. And they will celebrate this title in Europe. South America, Australia, the Virgin Islands, Canada, and especially here in San Antonio. The fans of San Antonio know how great you are, and now the whole world does. You are the 2014 Bill Russell MVP. We really wanted to, to have this feeling again. The moment where we got that lead and we said, well, this is ours. It was so satisfying and with the same group. I just enjoyed it so much. You just won the NBA championship. I don't know. I'm just feeling very shocked right now. It just feels like a dream right now. Very happy to be a champion, very happy to represent Brazil. Shout out to everyone in Australia for all your support back home. You guys have been great. Uh, I want to say thank you to all Italian people, and this is for you. I've never been more proud of the team, more have I ever gotten as much satisfaction from the season. Uh, to see the fortitude you guys displayed coming back from that horrific loss last year and getting yourselves back in position and doing what you did in the finals, You're really to be honored for that. As every championship is different, you know, all the other ones were special and the groups were great, but this had to be the sweetest, just because of what we endured last year. That joy is pure. We're hugging each other, jumping up on each other, crying and laughing at the same time. There's nothing else like it. That's the sweetest championship. It's my favorite one uh, out of my four because of what happened last year and it's been seven years. Um, we're celebrating like it's our first, <laughs> our first win. This one was more special than any others. The journey we've been through in the last two years, everything together. Because of the time between the championships, I appreciate every game more, I appreciate every accomplishment, knowing that it might be the last time I do it. You put all those things together and it makes this one that much more special for me. Live, love, and prosper. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I, I, I can't explain. It, it's, 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 it's amazing to be a part of this for so long. This is the official River Parade celebration of the 2014 NBA. Champions! How sweet is that one? You love it? It was amazing, man. I mean, not only did we do it, but did y'all see how we did it? <laughs> You guys have been with us all along. You probably struggled or suffered as much as we did last year. So this year, having the opportunity to come back, redeem ourselves, it, it was really sweet, really sweet.
wonderful night for the whole city, for all of you, for all of us. But we want to thank you mostly for being the greatest fans in the NBA. You've supported us really well. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. These two guys are, of course, very, very special for me. I, I never play with anybody for as long as with, with them. I don't think I spend more time with my wife than with them. I started with some great ones, and then I get to spend the next 15 years of my career growing up with these two, growing up as an individual and watching them grow. I give the credit to them. What we have is very special. We'll have a special bond for life. Us three with Coach Pop, I don't take it for granted, and I really appreciate every moment, and I'm very blessed to be here in the city of San Antonio. You make it very fun. Thank you, San Antonio.